Cultures. Well, we are here at the uh, Hair Expo finalist announcements of the Hair Expo 2013 awards. And I'm here with Scott Sloan, who has been announced as a finalist for the new category, which is Emerging Hairdresser of the Year. G'day. Hello. Well, I was judging today, and Emerging is a new category with Hair Expo, so it's sort of like um, between New Creative Force and Hairdresser of the Year, which is, there's quite a big gap. And I think there's a lot of people that think, you know, if I enter into Hairdresser of the Year, I haven't got a hope in hell, so I think it was fantastic that we've got a new category here. Do you think that's oh, right? Yeah. I completely agree, and that was part of the reason why I changed categories. I've yeah. only been entering now for this is my third serious entry, yeah. and for the last two years I did enter Australian Hairdresser of the Year, and for someone that's had no experience at entering these sort of competitions, it's a massive jump to try to compete against people that you idolise and you look up to, yeah. to think I've actually got to go against them. And you do actually think, you know, I don't have a hope in hell of winning this or getting anywhere. So I think it's a really welcome step that um, Herrex where I've introduced a new level and it's just another platform as you say it's a stepping stone between creative new force and up there so it gives a little bit more encouragement to people that think that I want to go in it and I don't know where to start and I don't have to start it aiming for the top so it's a really really great idea it's a great initiative well congratulations Scott it's fantastic to see you there Pleasure. thank you very much thank you Hi, Paloma Rose Garcia. Congratulations on being a finalist for um, New Creative Force this year. Well done. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. So you were a judge's rec last year and now you've upped the ante and now you're a finalist. Exactly the outcome that I was hoping, so I'm really happy. Good. Now, you're, you know, I love your collections. They're always beautifully classical, but there's always an edge to them. Tell us a little bit about what you, uh, you know, what your philosophy was with this collection here. So I guess for me, last year was a very um, safe, classic, quite a 50s-inspired um, collection. This year I really wanted to push myself and just have a little bit more strength in the hair. So I really worked on that, um, working with different shapes and textures and just having... I wanted to turn on the hairdressers more. I wanted to, yeah, just have a stronger hair ele element to it. So you are um, a salon owner. How long have you owned your salon in uh, Oscar Oscar Paddington for? Been in business just about two years now. Fantastic. And things are going on the up and up? Yeah, really good. Yeah. Constantly growing, which is all I ever hoped for. So, yeah, fantastic. Very happy. There's a couple of gold 50s flying around. If you think that I'm 50, we're not speaking to you anymore. It must be you, Miss Ali. Congratulations on getting finalists for the... Um, um, emerging hairdresser of the year and it's the 50th finalist nomination for wildlife hairdressing that's incredible thank you very much Jenny wow. yeah um, we knew tonight might be our 50th and it just so happened to be that I was the one that was called for 50 now can you tell us a little bit about your collection uh, this collection is the fall of the gentry and uh, these are these are all girls who have been living in a how, uh, with old money. This is old money, but they don't know what to do with it. Money can't buy taste. So we've got a girl who's got luxurious long hair, but her ponytail's under her chin. We've got a uh, girl who's weirdly her twin sister and her long locks. They're the ringlet ringers, and they're locked together with their locks, and it's a very unusual sisterly relationship and we've got a girl with a beautiful blow dry and bob but a weird ponytail on top with a, the modern balayage on the ponytail but it's an old school blow dry so it's all about money can't buy taste and the old old money